Hey, what's up? How you doing, brother? All right. Oh, man, I just had to come by and tell you how cool it was performing with you last night. I tell you, man, it felt just like old times. Now, if you come in here to ask me to go back on the road with you, the answer is no. <laughs> come on in, man. Oh, man, and see some. I also wanted to just apologize for Jazz's behavior last night. Oh, man, don't worry about that. That kid is a hothead. I was one myself. Oh, I remember <laughs> all too well. <laughs> Thing is, um, that boy's a really talented drummer. His head is just rock hard. You know, Marvin died when that boy was 16, and he never really had a father to teach him right from wrong. He listens to you? <laughs> On a good day. <laughs> hmm. No, that boy needs some direction from, um, from somebody like you. <laughs> I feel you, man. As much as I'd like to help out, I don't know why you keep this dude with you, man. It's hard being on the road with somebody who has his ass on his shoulders all the damn time. But see, so man, sometimes you, you gotta give back. No, I give back plenty. I just ain't taking in strays. What if the stray is your son? The hell are you talking about? I ain't got no kids. I'm sitting here telling you that you do. I mean, how the hell is that possible, man? Look, when Marvin got sick, she made me promise not to tell either one of you. But see, so when I saw the two of you together, I, I just had to say something. Now, I told Jazz I owed him that. He says he don't want to see you. Then why are you telling me? Because I think you should try anyway.